Okay, so I'm just going to go over the pulse jet, pulse detonation engine, if you can get it above 250 hertz. I've got 7mm port in there, 7mm port in there. Same, same here. It's a 7mm port there. Uh, the port here used to be, used to come into the combustion chamber, but or detonation chamber if you can get it. So that bit there was a hole straight in and I had an atomizer here. And I tried three different atomization uh, uh, ends and all it would do is extinguish what was going on in here. So this chamber around here is used as a preheater. The water comes in here under gravity, uh, fills up the chamber once it gets to here, there's a, there's a jet there uh, that drips drips into the into the exhaust. So if this chamber's 200 degrees, then stands to reason water dripping in here is going to become uh, superheated steam as soon as it gets into the exhaust. So I've got this fit in here, um, which is. Uh, Three, sorry, quarter inch BSP. All these fittings are quarter inch BSP. I think for a small working unit, um, quarter inch MPT or BSP is absolutely fine. If you look at the patent diagram, the scale of the valves to this part, you can see that's well oversized. So I'm actually thinking half or third possibly in the quarter scale. Um, not pulled the trigger on that yet. And uh, this bit, at the minute, I've got coming into the turbine via this uh, exhaust pipe. Um, it would benefit more for being closer, but for now, I want to keep a bit of distance between the two. So, yeah, this is this is how it is for a minute. Um, can look into getting a different size valve or a couple of valves made. Um, it's got quarter inch BSP fittings on it too, but as you can see, quite a bit of room there to to change. And um, they're neck down to a seven mil bore anyway. So yeah, this is complete overkill. Um, really, this size valve would be suited to something like three eight four half inch, maybe, maybe uh, half inch would be the biggest I think for for this size. So yeah, that will um, increase the efficiency of the valve by making it smaller. And our aim of the game is to get this nice and hot switch the water on, make superheated steam, propel, propel the turbine, get the turbine up to speed, make back pressure, which will pump the valves to bring in um, atmospheric, and then we can switch off the propane and the uh, compressed air, switch to atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure gets nice and Toasty hot cools this down so it's safe, and then we go to running off atmospheric pressure and uh, turbine staying nice and cool. So that's the scheme, anyway. And the next part of the scheme is to fit a pulley on here that isn't made out of plastic and isn't push fit, uh, put a, a motor there, such as. This one, which I think off the top of my head is 3.33 kilowatt. Um, so we have that in there with a with a metal pulley, metal pulley on there, just a little one. Have a somewhere around about um, a five to one ratio with this motor. Um, being used as an AC generator, it's rated at just over 40,000 uh, RPM. So. We had this one in at 20, sorry, 200,000. Um, this would be 
This will be running at about 40. And um, if you can pull one to three kilowatts off this, then um, yeah, that would be uh, very surprising. I don't think we're going to do it with an O-ring. Um, or, you know, maybe not even with this particular metal for the shaft. At this size, we're probably going down to grade four titanium, uh, super duplex, 420 uh, or 440 C. Or if you want the Daddio, make the rotor from Inconel, 718. So yeah, that will take the heat nicely. And uh, yeah, you can get these, um, you can get these aluminium uh, pulleys off the shelf now. Uh, different different types of this. They're, they're more like mini timing belts, which we'll have to see how that goes. I'm not sure where that's going to fare with um, with the aluminium seventy seventy five, but we'll give it a go and see see how, see what power we can get. We've got a thousand watt pure sine pure sine wave inverter and. Um, yeah, it's all about just getting the uh, getting the pulley sizes matched up and um, seeing what speed we can get this to now using uh, using heat and low pressure. So see what happens. <laughs> 